Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and I finally got the Petrified Fish Beluga. Everybody's been screaming and raving about this thing, and I did not want to do my best budget knives of the year without getting this one in hand after hearing what everybody was saying about it. I originally really liked the black and brown micarta version. Now there are a few different options, but I wound up settling for this version and then regretting it after my purchase before I ever received it. Why? Just because what attracted me was the black blade and the brown micarta. However, you know, I do really like this one, so I'm not saying I regret it. Now I'm saying after my purchase, but I am very impressed with this knife. It's... Yeah, it's definitely a really good one. And before I get into the knife, it actually comes with Teflon washers and phosphor bronze. So I'm guessing you can change these out to a basically kind of like a triway pivot or something. You know, I think that's crazy that they that it comes with extra hardware too. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to show you that extra hardware too which is awesome. All knives should come with this, but it doesn't come with a pivot. It just comes with the body screws, which maybe just to change them out to black if I want to. Um, yeah, anyways, and a cleaning cloth. But the knife itself, I have had it for a couple days now, and as soon as I got it, I started using it. I wanted to make sure that I had enough testing under my belt with this thing to actually give it a good opinion. You know, I know this is kind of just the first impressions, but I have some videos coming up here rather quickly, and I wanted to make sure that I had a really good opinion on it. Now, we have K110 Steel. That's D2. That's all that is. It's basically D2. So that's what I expect from this steel is D2. Now, the my card is very nice. I'm very happy with the my card. I know it's going to get darker over time. It will definitely age in patina. The blue micarta is just blue micarta. It's micarta dyed blue. It's not like denim micarta. Denim micarta, if you see, it's actually like blue jeans. You know, if, if I put it next to my jeans, it actually has the same pattern as blue jeans. That's how real denim micarta is. Now, I know there's different kinds of denim, but this is just blue micarta. It's still really nice, and it will age well. It feels really good in the hand. It does have kind of that, that medium texture where it's not very fabric-y, but it's also not very slick or dense. It still has a real nice texture to it and feels really good in the hand. So, um, you know, I am happy with this micarta. Because I was kind of questioning how the quality of the micarta was going to be for me. Deep carry clip. Very nice. I love how they put it inside here like that. And you can do it on both sides. So you can flip it to the other side. And it works extremely well. This is a very, very good clip. Hidden lanyard pin in the back. Now, the action. So I was... I'm not concerned, but... One of the questions I had without getting it in hand was how good is this front flipper going to be on such a wide, you know, thick knife? But it works really good. Really good. But I will say it's still a large knife, so this is not my preference, my preferred way to deploy it. However, I can easily do all the tricks with it. You know, I guess if you call them tricks. So... It's pretty easy, and it works very well. Now, I do wish they would have done what you're supposed to do on front flippers. I don't know why companies haven't realized this yet. But with front flippers, you always want to wrap the jimping around the front flipper. They did stop it, so the very top of it is slick. But you can get right up here in the front of it and pop it out. Now, this little peak would have benefited by rounding this a little bit, and it would have even benefited it right here if they would have just, like, kind of rounded it right there. You know, I don't... They didn't need it back there. The stop pin's up here, so... Anyways, the detent ball is a little late when you unlock it, but it's still easy to get past. But if you hold up really high, you will hit this... And, you know, it'll get stuck on the detent. But you can find the area very quickly and never have to worry about that. Because you don't have the flipper tab in the way. But you do have what would have been the flipper tab in the way if you hold up really high. But that's why I think if they would have rounded this area right there. Holy cow. I mean, it would have worked out really good. And I know the stop pin goes up under there. But it would have worked out very well for... 
the front flipping action because this would have been knocked out and you'd have more access to the front flipper. Not that it's horrible, but it would, it would have made it a little bit better and for when you unlock it. Even though that's not bad either. The lockup is extremely strong and I really like that. That it almost like sucks itself in. I love that. So, like, when you're slow rolling it, you really feel it lock in place, and it has a real loud lock up, and it's really, really strong. So, that helps me have a lot more confidence in how tough it's going to be, how well it's going to not only break in, but how locked up it's going to be, you know, and how reliable it's going to be, because I've noticed on other knives with you know, lockups like that, they tend to do very good over time. I didn't realize it at first, but this is a rhino that's like trampling towards you. And I have no idea what that has to do with petrified fish, but I'm pretty sure that's a rhino. But yeah, I have no idea, what, you know, maybe it's the, the designer's logo. I'm not positive on that one. The, the the reverse flicking action, it has a fuller that runs down the center of it that's very deep and it, it's a, it has a really nice sharp edge, so it works extremely well. The reverse flick on this is the preferred way to deploy it, the most easiest, but the thumb flick works really good too, which is surprising because a lot of these fullers, they'll work really good for the reverse flick, but not for the thumb flick. This just happens to be sharp enough right down there in that groove to accept your finger very easily. It's pretty natural. Now the, th the thumb roll is really nice as well. <clears throat> Access to the liner, very, very nice, very easy to get to, and it is stupid smooth. Out of the box, it had a little tiny bit of play, and I did tighten the pivot up, and it has came loose a little bit, but after tightening it again, it seems like it's holding up pretty good, so backing out, it's very, very slow or subtle, and I'm not worried about it. I'll just throw some Loctite on it, and it hasn't been an issue. I don't want to make it seem like it has been. Now, <clears throat> because I was using it quite a bit. Now, the Ergos on this, very, very nice. It, it's so thick in the handle, it almost makes you feel like you're holding onto a fixed blade, which in return benefits with the cutting performance because the geometry is also very nice. It's one of the things that I thought was going to be good, after, especially after watching Stasa 23's video. He explained that this thing has really good geometry and then it's nice and thin behind the edge. And it is. And being such a, you know, a tall flat grind, even though you have this fuller on the top that is sharp, it still passes through materials so good. It separates materials very, very, very well. And you can really tell a knife with good geometry because when you're making certain cuts, you can make very thin cuts on materials and it's very easy to do. Kind of like, um, like say if you're cutting cardboard and you just want to just cut off a little eighth inch section down the, the side of it, you can easily do that. Also, you can easily do like S cuts and things, you know, where say if you want to cut a shape out of something, it works really good. Even though it is such a broad blade, it still does it very well because of the geometry, because it slides through materials so well. Now, a lot of knives will do that. It's just a lot of them, they'll slow down or you'll have to use the whole cutting edge to do it. You won't be able to use a small part of the edge by push cutting. You might have to drag cut it in order to do those cuts or it'll just wind up binding up. You know, if the geometry isn't that great. So it's not whether or not it can do it. It's how effortlessly it does it. Now, the stop pin is not that large. It's something that I'm, I'm not worried about. But I do wish it was a... T Can I get it to show up? Maybe it's not as bad as I originally thought looking at it. I guess it's not too bad. I... Eh. Looking at it or, yeah, last night, I was looking at it and it seemed a little small to me. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. But I always like to see big stop-ins. I like to see big hardware, which another thing, small hardware. Don't like to see that. Would way rather see big hardware.
Now, I have not sharpened it yet. I have not fully blown, reprofiled it or anything like that. I have stropped it. I tuned it up um, a couple times, actually, because right off the bat, I, I started using it. And right off the bat, it started getting a little tiny, tiny bit of wear. Now, I instantly stropped it. And that went away. So I think if I would have took it right out of the box and just stropped it right away, I think it would have gotten a lot better results. I, I don't think I would have even had that issue. I think it just needed a good stropping out of the box. So because now, I mean, the edge is still holding up really good. It stropped back very nicely. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. Like most people would think, you know, this is a perfectly fine edge, but to me, yes, it, it does need a new sharpening. Now, when I did strop it, I stropped it. I tried to strop it on a little bit of a more aggressive compound because being D2, it's very fine compound tends to make the edge slicker. It doesn't really give it the bite that I want, that I'm wanting in the edge. And so I stropped it on, what was it? Six micron. And it came back pretty good. Not, not too bad. Um, and I'm definitely fine with it, but I do need to resharpen it here pretty soon. You can see how it did start kind of polishing it up a little bit um, from stropping, but not that big of a deal. All in all, solid knife. Some of my complaints, though. Oh, yeah, the choil, though. I forgot to say. The sharpening choil looks great. The plunge grind is separated. The plunge grind starts here and ends about right there. So they did give you plenty to sharpen. So I have plenty of knife to reprofile. Utility cutting and stuff, that's going to be where it works. There's no problem. I can easily do it. I did do some cuts like that just to kind of test it out. And they did okay. They did fine. Now, you're going to lose some leverage. So you're not going to have maximum amount of leverage through a utility cut. But you're not losing a lot either. You know, it's not like you're all the way up here. But it's not like you're down here either. So you're right there. So, you, got, you know, it's kind of in that medium spot where you can still do good utility cuts. But you're going to lose a little bit of leverage, you know, pulling through the cut. Lots of belly on this guy, but it, the tip does drop down quite a bit, and it is deceiving because of the fuller. It drops down a little more than it seems. Now, some of the negative things, you know, it's a, it's a good knife. It's a really, really good knife. It's a solid knife, and it's a great user, and I can tell it's a knife that I could tend to gravitate towards. It's a knife that I, because the clip works so well, and to me, it carries really good. It might be a bit big for people. The action's really good. It is fun to fidget with, and it works so good. But there's there's little things that, you know, one, it's, it's a fuller. So you have to reverse flick it or slow roll it or thumb flick it or front flip it. Now, the front flipping action, I'm not a big fan of. I like front flippers, don't get me wrong, on some knives. But to me, don't put a front flipper on something just because. Put a front flipper on it because it's so good that it belongs on it. To me, this wasn't one of those. It doesn't need to have a front flipper. It works just fine, don't get me wrong. But on this girthy of a knife, it doesn't really need it. I, You know, I almost, I don't know. Maybe I would have been happier with a regular flipper. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe just the fuller. You know, and I hate to speak in terms of what ifs because it what if it was bad if they did that, right? What if I hated it? You know, there are all those, you know, things. So I'm not I'm not hating on too bad and it's good. But you know, it just doesn't make too much sense uh to put a front flip around a knife like this. But it does work. It works just fine. Now, next thing, even though the micarta is really nice. I would have preferred like real denim micarta. Now I know the, <laughs> I'm kind of complaining as if this is like a $200 knife or something. I'm sorry guys. The micarta is great. The micarta is great. I just, you know, the, they have that other micarta like this, that you see how the lines are going at an angle. You can tell this is real denim. This is not, and I think they're just taking denim, or I'm sorry, not denim, they're taking micarta, turning it blue and calling it denim micarta. That is not denim micarta. It's just micarta that's dyed blue. So uh, this is real denim. You can tell. I can put it next to my jeans right now that I'm wearing, and they are similar. It, it needs to be cleaned. Okay, yes, it needs to be cleaned. This is pretty filthy. It's been used and abused a lot, so yes. But right out of the box, 
it was, you know, nice and clean. You could really see the fibers really good. Now they're kind of smashed and patinaed over time. <clears throat> Next thing, put this uh, blade, it's like a bead blast. I don't know why they would bead blast this. This should be a heavy stone wash because it's K110. K110 has the ability to, to rust not real easily but easier than mo easier than most so i would just prefer a stone wash on this it would look good with the coated blade too i didn't see any with the coated blade and i like i would rather have an uncoated blade versus a coated blade most of the time but if i can get a good coated blade with a good stone wash that i know is durable i'll take it if the steel is not a stainless i don't really have too much of an issue with stain problems you know or rusting problems but it's still good to know right it's still good to know all in all solid knife rock solid i mean this thing is really good very very drop shutty stupid smooth detent is on point and the clip works really great. It carries really good. And I think that this is a great worker for a lot of people. And we'll see if it winds up in uh, some more videos coming up. Peace.